Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you'd like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. Just go ahead and click that link to book your reading. Um, you guys can also follow me on Instagram, House of Virgo. All the links and everything you need is below okay so please do hit the like share and subscribe we just hit 5,000 subscribers so that's awesome um, and I would greatly appreciate it. and if you're new welcome okay we're gonna take a look at your person and love um, this is the past position Wow the Empress is here yesterday that was in the same exact spot in the present okay the hanged man Justice, the future, we have the Eight of Wands. You have, okay, Judgment, Page of Pentacles. Okay, very nice. So, Scorpio, Leo, I'm sorry, I said Leo. <laughs> I was about to say Libra, but that's for some reason, I always mix them two up. So, we have Scorpio, Libra, twice, Pisces, Scorpio, twice, okay. All right, let's take a look here and see what the love messages are, the overall love messages for Virgo. Next 24 hours. What does Virgo need to know in regards to their love lives? Okay. Virgo's messages. Okay, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Wow. Okay, you've got somebody here who is definitely going within and exploring how they feel, their romantic feelings for you. Okay. Mm, codependency addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. So there might be like some healing, um, taking a look to see, is it really love or is it codependency? Okay. Is it truly like unconditional love or is this transactional love? Okay. This person might be looking at that. You might be looking at that. You know, is there a need to be with each other or is it just free-flowing and it's it's nice and enjoyable okay trust the situation is calling for you to have faith okay you also have okay separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon maybe there's a trust issue and you guys are in separation at this time um, and reevaluating the relationship let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others um somebody here might be getting some Assistance, counseling, help from friends, family, tarot readers. Okay, getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So, hmm, something here going on. Like, um, uh, Virgo, you might be asking your friends to help you uh, sort your feelings out. Your person might be doing that as well or um, sorting things out with a spiritual mentor or a counselor. Um, there might be a trust issue and there's separation because of that, because it's kind of like trying to get the faith back or finding out if you both can trust one another. Okay, so the past position, um, false starts, stop and start, stop and start. And then it finally came to an end, okay? There's a lot of defensive energy. Um, a desire to move forward, overcome any issues, um, or like this is the past. So there might have been travel blockages involved, the death card. Like I just feel like something either transformed your person, making some changes in their life, or they blocked the connection and they left and moved away. And for some of you, you lost someone due to a passing, okay, in the physical world. And that person is, their soul has moved on, okay? Might have been a difficult transition for you to have to deal with, but whatever the situation, you know, if that's the case, that's not your reading here. That is just saying, okay, for you, um, maybe some counseling or some grief counseling or something, and then go from that point forward. But for the rest of you, I just feel like something here has passed or ended or um, there was a major shift or a change, okay? There might've been a big change or an ending or somebody, this person decided to move on. All right, but let's take a look at this death card, okay? So somebody moved on from a Libra, okay? Um, if not, they felt like it was, um, 
I don't want to say a no-win situation, but it seemed like what was best for them was to move on and just say, you know, it's there's def there are a lot of blockages in the past in defensive energy, and then you know, it feels like every time we get a few steps ahead, then it stalls or we take a few steps back. It's like this constant struggle. Okay. Like it, there's an energy in the past of like, we knew we needed to make this transition. Um, your person was trying to make a transition, but then they would stop it or they would block it. Okay. Or become defensive. Right. And I feel like your person in the past just said, you know what, what's best for me is that I just move on. Now, maybe they said that to you, or maybe they just left. Okay, um, because death can be indicative of like, it's just over, it's just final, it's just done. Okay, um, or maybe they got sent to jail. Okay, there might have been that for some of you. Okay, the seven ones, why were they blocking? Blocking because they wanted their freedom. Okay, but then why was the six of swords here? Because that six of swords energy is always like relocating, moving, making a necessary transition. Why was the Six of Swords here? Okay, because they truly wanted to give to the connection. They truly wanted to give and to try to make something work, but it felt to them more like a sense of duty. Not, I have no cup energy here. So this person, um, I feel like they were unsure about how they felt or they felt something, but they weren't sure if it was love or not. And that's why I feel like this person is currently exploring that to see, do they truly love you or do they just need you, right? Okay, that may have caused a trust breakdown and the separation. And some of you are spending some time trying to sort things out in your head or asking your friends for help. Now, the current energy here is the Empress, the Hangman, and Justice. Um, I feel like your person is like, coming to an awakening here about you. Yeah, it feels like they're seeing that actually this relationship was bringing good luck. This relationship was a golden opportunity for them. Um, they're coming to terms with that. Um, it kind of feels like uh, that like they're coming to terms with how much you invested yourself. They're seeing how much you invested in the relationship and that hangman energy Every single time for me is like enlightenment. They're getting this different perspective on your relationship, and that's what they're sorting out here. Okay, yeah, seeing how positive, what a positive influence and light you were. They're seeing this now in the present. What a light, uh, how, how your light warmed them in a lot of ways. So what's justice here now? They want to do right by you. First, it was about them, okay, because they weren't sure about how they felt. Now, they wanna make things right with you in the present, okay? Let's see the, yep, Two of Pentacles is here. Bring balance into the situation. Both of these are balanced things. They've been weighing things, weighing it out. Do I love Virgo or do I just need Virgo? It seems like it's romantic. It seems like they're coming to terms with. They do have deep, deep feelings for you. They do love you very much. That Two of Pentacles energy is like, it's kind of like um, making you a priority, but trying to find a way to balance things between you and their life, right? But to bring you into balance, right? Two of Pentacles, like they've been weighing their options here. And I don't mean options as like, oh, between you and 10 different others. It feels more like two is about partnership, you and them, how can we make this work? How can I bring this into balance with Virgo? How can we like get steady, right? Because like I said, it was off and on, off and on in the in the background. And they might have been sticking around because they felt like that six of pentacles. Like, you know, I just, I want to keep giving and I want to receive and I want to help and I want to be as generous as I can, but I don't know if I really love Virgo. And I feel like they were confused about that. And then they just decided to end it. Now... That Empress energy, Empress is Venus. That's love. And the, their, your love is what empowers them, okay? 
And I don't really feel like this person understood what that meant, okay? So going forward, the Eight of Wands, Cupid's Arrows, reconciliation with the judgment, everything coming out, a revelation and communication going forward about your self-worth and about how much they value you and your connection, okay? So there will be travel. Look, here's the star. This could be somebody who... Um, it's healing energy. This could be somebody in the spotlight or putting a spotlight on this relationship. Now the light starts shining down on both of you. Um, the star energy is renewal, hope, this person having inner clarity. It's like a miracle coming in. I mean, this person can't even believe that they, this is, it truly is love. Okay. This is a card about having faith. And I feel like this person's going to be coming in and telling you um, that you are a star in their eyes, how much they love you, um, how they can't get enough of you. Okay, Queen of Cups energy. Did I say the signs? I did, but I forgot to mention that you also have Leo and Aquarius. And now we have um, Cancer and, yeah, Cancer here. So I feel like um, this person is gonna open up their feelings. Usually the Queen of Cups, um, you know, she's very nurturing and very healing and supportive, but, and I feel like your person, that is who they are, but I feel like going forward, they're going to um, try to bring healing and um, reconciliation, but also to open up and reveal their deepest feelings to you. I feel like that's just going to be a continuation that keeps going on here. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Okay, Page of Cups, yeah. Love and, and stability here. And that's their communication going forward, okay? Um, is there marriage? Is there engagement? No, not yet. But there is, a, there could be a legal thing between you um, that binds you together, like a binding contract that could be marriage. Um, it could just be communication about that. But I feel like right now it's all about growing closer. It's all about exploring the emotions and to see if this can move forward. Now, I know that may sound different than yesterday's reading. It may not be um, connected. This might be something completely different. But let's take a look and see how your person's feelings for you. What they would say to you um, when opening up with this uh, judgment card, their expressions. I know that I crossed the line with you, okay? I remember every detail of our day together, the last time you were together. I'm starting to understand our connection, okay? I don't feel like this person was fear-based. I don't, unless the death card could represent that fear. Um, I don't feel like they truly wanted to end something, but they couldn't, it feels like in the past, they just couldn't be in that love energy, you know? The timing just wasn't right for us. That's really what the issue was. I wish I could take back my words to the things that they might have said to you that maybe you didn't like, or even the words of, well, I can't, it's not the right time for me, or um, even the words of like, I don't really want to be in a relationship or something like that, or I don't love you as much as I thought, or I'm not sure, they wish they could take that back, because it feels to me like this person made a mistake um, in their mind, not in your mind, but like, they're like, wow, I, I can't, I've come to realize that I really do love Virgo, see, I love you. So this person's definitely dealt with some kind of an addiction here, okay? Some urges um, that got in the way of the relationship. Okay, I wish I could share my good news with you, okay? Well, they will going forward. Right now they feel that way, but going forward, that's what the Eight of Wands is. That That's always about good news coming in, um, positive news. And I do feel like they're gonna share it with you. Um, you speak to me through music. This card always shows up. There might be some kind of music connected to the two of you. This person says you are the best thing in my life. You were, Virgo. I don't feel like that's ever changed, even if that was the last reading, even currently. This person feels the absence of you right now, Virgo. And I feel like that's why 
they may feel like it's over, you feel like it's over, and you're both in separation, and I feel like you're both trying to discover how you truly feel. Was it was it addiction? Was it codependency? Um, for them, they are seeing that that might have played a role in them not being able to move the relationship forward. Um, they needed you, Virgo, more than you needed them to satisfy this. You know, codependency is, addic is a form of addiction, okay? And it's a form of control. I want to feel that way again. Okay. New love or a recommitment to love, okay? They want that. How it was in the beginning when things were really good, Virgo, okay? There's new development of love happening here. And I feel like this person really wants to try to get to know you um again have like a restart it feels like this person admits that they took the easy way out yeah when things got tough they ran i understand you better and i do feel like they're looking at you know the role that you played in their life um whereas before maybe they just didn't see um absence it's the absence which makes the heart grow fonder I can still see you standing there. Yeah, there's like a shadow. It's it's like you're still alive to them, Virgo. <laughs> like, I mean, like you're still present to them, even if you're not connecting. And I know some of you are like, well, that's not good enough. They need to connect. And, you know, like, but they're saying I am different now. This person's making huge changes. And what they come forward with um, might be a little shocking to you, but the message here is you didn't imagine this you really did feel their love and they really did love you and they still do we are more alike than i admit now some of you virgos believe it or not you might be condemning this person for doing the same things that you did right because you might have been reacting to them in the same way they were treating you Okay, so if this person was hot and cold, you were acting hot and cold. If this person was giving you mixed messages, you were giving mixed messages. If this person was being avoidant, then you were being avoidant, right? By going into no contact or vice versa. If they were giving you the silent treatment, you might have been giving them the silent treatment or just being silent, both of you. Like it doesn't mean it was intentional. For some of you, it could have been, but... I feel like you both were mirroring each other instead of just one of you taking the reins and saying, you know what, you can act that way all you like, but I love you and I'm going to keep pressing forward with this relationship. Um, now, you might have had your good reasons for not doing that. Um, there may have been fear at the root of it, okay? Fear of rejection, fear of being vulnerable and being rejected, okay? This person's really been struggling um, without you, um, and they are struggling trying to sort out how they truly feel. I feel like there was a breakdown of trust. I do, because of this um, flip-flopping in this connection. They do wish you well. Whatever you decide, Virgo, if you decide that, like, you know, you just can't go back and you don't want to work it out or anything, they don't have any hatred towards you, and they won't, and they won't have any, like, rem like blame or anything like that anymore. I feel like they want you to be happy which is very nice. Um, it's good. Um, but they do hope they will see you again. And that is what this person wants is to connect with you again. Um, even though I feel like Virgo, because there's a breakdown of trust, you're separating from them at this time. Um, and that is causing them or influencing them to really explore how they feel. Right. And I feel like that might have been a necessary thing to come. This person was careless with you careless with your emotions they may have even lied to you virgo about things or withheld their true feelings but they don't know how to let you go they don't want to let you go virgo even if you're like nope you can't do it anymore i don't feel like they just don't know what to say right now they don't know how to approach um they may have fear um because they left they may have fear that you will reject them or you won't take them back Okay, and so there's an element, sometimes I hear your voice in my head, okay? I don't know how that is, but they hear your voice. Um, maybe they listen to your voicemails um, still, or they just hear you somehow, maybe through music. 
um, yeah, they couldn't tell you face to face their deepest emotions because they weren't sure. But there was a fear, total fear of you rejecting them. So Virgo, this person is coming in. I do feel like there's healing here and it's just going to take them a little while. They are waiting for, you know, they are having an awakening here and I do feel like they do want to try to make things right with you going forward. But once, once I feel like, once they get clear and it's out in the open for them, then I feel like going forward there will be messages of healing and communication and it'll be like about change and positive news coming forward and you know that they want to heal this connection between you so you just keep doing what you need to do virgo to um heal and make your life better and you know keep it moving all right virgo that's your message i hope you enjoy that i will see you guys very soon take care